Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC for do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing a circulator pump just like this one. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we're going to be replacing this taco pump. This is a cartridge circulator pump and this is working with domestic water. I found a breaker tripped the other week and the issue was a shorted out a grounded out motor for this pump right so this is it working in a really tight space here I mean everything is just in my way let's see what we can do not sure if you might have noticed but what I did over there was I disconnected the hotline and I turned the breaker back on and it stopped tripping and that's pretty much how I knew already that that motor was bad so let's begin by taking off that neutral wire because there's only one wire disconnected all right circulator pumps five six seven let's turn that off it's a super tight space to work in here gotta watch out for all these things crawling here in between two boilers That was a hotline. We gotta disconnect the neutral and get the power out of here. Let's double check that the power is really off. I right, got my meter on bolts. All right, we're good to go. Let's disconnect the electrical. It's coming from above. With a BX. There we go. Whew. There's our electrical. Let's get that out of our way. I right, got the electrical disconnected. Got to shut down the water. Oh, something's wrong with these valves. Something's up with this one, I can't close it. And there is one in here. Hopefully I can even reach it. All right. Oh, these things just backspin. I have a feeling there's gonna be a problem draining this thing. Jeez. I took this handle off, tried to adjust this. There's definitely something up with this valve. I hope we can get the water to stop. I don't feel comfortable with this one. Some, oh, it has a little drip on it too. Something's up with it where it's not actually closing properly. All right, I got this little pan. I'm gonna keep that out. What I wanna do is just loosen this and uh, see if the, the water stops. Just loosen this up, let it drain out, Let's, uh, and see what happens. came out already just a little bit though just loosen that up a little let's see if that water stops maybe let's try to fry it a little I don't see any big pressure, that's a good sign. Uh, let's see what happens. Definitely want to make sure that stops before I go any further. All right. When I use the screwdriver, I can clearly see I have a bit of a space and just a drip there. Looks like we're good. And then we got the next two bolts over there.
okay that one's loose and then this side I got a little bit of water got this little pan in here let it catch right, loosen that one up this one started leaking oh it's stopping oh no it's not it's so strange oh boy now right, everything's looking good i'm gonna take off the nuts and bolts the rest by hand because everything is loose I'm gonna leave that little bolt in there just so I can balance it out a little. Just like that. Now this one. one there's a new one it's slightly different the size looks the same it's just the gasket is different i gotta put the gasket in this one this is the gasket i'm hoping this fits onto these fittings right here if not those are gonna have to be changed let's go ahead and clean up the edges on a nice clean surface yeah rock just came out of there there's literally rocks in there whoa I mean that's how this pump went bad got all those solids in there must have damaged that impeller or it got stuck but let's just clear this up on a nice and smooth surface so here's the gasket I'm just gonna start it off by putting it in place one on each side make sure everything is nice and clean before I mount this pump let's just get this electrical cover open and try to make this as easy as possible for us just look into the wiring if there's anything different this is a replacement pump it's not the exact same model There's only two wires to wire here. We got a white and yellow. As far as this, we got a white and yellow. All right, hot line goes to yellow, white goes to neutral. We also have a grounding screw. There's actually a little capacitor. All right, let's go ahead and mount it and see what happens. Make sure the gaskets are in place. Okay. Let's put this in. Let's put this in. Let's put this one in. Oh, Chris, can you get that? that in to try to balance all right let's put this inside cool all right some of these nuts by hand all right i got that in by hand 
let's go ahead and tighten this down all right hold him back and let's just snug these a little now do the same for this side Snug. And now this one. How uncomfortable is this? All right, everything is nice and snug. What I wanna do is open up the water to test that we have no leaks. Once we can confirm there's no leaks, then I'll go ahead and wire it up. Uh, let's hope I don't get splashed here. This thing. All right, no leaks. Let's go ahead and bring the electrical in. Oh man, this is such a tight space. I hope you guys could even see this. Oh, I'm not gonna get it in there. That'll work one-handed. All right, everything's now wired up. We're gonna turn the breaker back on and test this pump. All right, circulator pumps, five, six, and seven. On. So the rating is two amps, and we got 1.6 amps. This thing is officially running, no more trip breakers, and we have no leaks. Now that's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, that was it. I labeled it number seven as this is pump number seven, circulator pump. This valve is actually made out of stainless steel. This is for you, good for potable water. But that was a pretty cool job and I'm very proud of that. Everything looks great and we're gonna wrap it up from here and we have another service call in the building. So if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues. I'll catch you all next time.